So what do we have here? Formosa tea. Um, so this game talks about uh, uh, tea and how do we make tea from uh, uh, taking from taking it in the field to uh, taking it to a factory and processing it to selling it. So it's like very dense and rich game. It feels like it could be uh, thought as uh, like Ceylon, but uh, it's a much richer and much deeper. Uh, okay, so basically it's pre pretty simple. On my turn, I can get, uh, I can use my worker to get there and uh, take tea that I can place in a tea basket. Okay, this is the level of humidity and this is the corresponding level. So I put it in my tea basket and that's it. So I've got four workers and uh, so I can collect tea and then, but I can also uh, take one worker and get to the factory. Uh, I don't know if the factory is the English word, I'm not sure, but anyway, I can place it here and then it goes into the factory and so the tea that was in my basket and it's uh, black tea, so uh, I can place it in the corresponding uh, rows of my factory and that's it. And I'm going to, in the factory, I'm going to take action to what process the tea. So the tea has level of humidity, but it's not so good. So you need to dry it and to make it like a, a to give it a, a sort of savor, like a tasty. So you need to place, to move your cubes here. So then your tea gets better in quality and it's like high and high quality tea. And so for example, this action to get, get, give me the right to take a cube down one spot, um, lower the humidity level. So I can take, for example, this cube and put it here. I think it's a good idea. And that's the kind of thing we're going to do uh, put fragrance in the tea to make it uh, smell better and give it better value. And these are crucial steps, okay? But these are only the first steps in the game. And you have to optimize those first. But then uh, you're going to uh, uh, work on your technology levels here. And for example, let's say I've, I've won one technology uh, advancement, so I move here. And this gives me another one, so I'm moving this one here. Oh, this gives me this bonus. What is what does this bonus says? It says uh, anytime I can spend it to uh, take one uh, cube, T cube, in level one humidity and move it, move it to the right spot where it's scented and it's good now. It's good quality. So I want to spend it right now and place this cube here. And this is good because it's going to be worth extra victory points. So uh, the question is, am I going to make bad tea? But it's quite easy to do. And, uh, and or am I going to, to make like high quality tea that's going to give me some fame on an, I don't know, domestic or international global market level? Uh, so, uh, so, and one more thing, when you're done with your tea, you put it in your, uh, you, you store it. This is storage facilities and I love them, like for uh, bad tea and normal tea and good tea. So this is the kind of things that you are going to do in this game that is like very beautiful, easy to set up, like dense and rich and in this quite small box actually, I think. And, uh, and, and one turn is very easy, it's pretty simple. I take a worker, we have got four, and I can place it and that's it. Uh, if I place it here, for instance, I'm selling tea on the, uh, on the domestic market and I'm going to move up this uh, this row here and that is going to give me points. If I place it here, I'm going to sell on the global market tea that I put in my, uh, um, not factory, but storage facilities. Oh, that's the word. And this is the tea I'm going to export. For example, let me show you this card. If I'm able to come here and pay this amount of, uh, I see it, I'm colorblind, so it's not quite easy, but of uh, tea. Uh, I'm going to get, if it's good tea, high hand quality to 16 point or 10 or 10, but this is the immediate point, but I'm going to be able to score them again for collection at the end of the game if I've got enough fame on international level. And this is very good. I like it. Uh, what else about this game? Okay, uh, interaction, interaction wise, uh, I really like uh, this because there are interactions between players but they're not so strong. Uh, let me show you an example. Uh, I'm playing a worker 
in, uh, for example, let's say I want uh, this cube of black tea because it's already dried, so I can put it here and later I'm going to put it in my up factory. But because I place a worker here, it gives motivation to all the workers that are working in the factory. So the field motivates the, the, the factory and all the workers, even though they are not mine, are going to move up one space and they're going to activate the place where they end up. So the question is, uh, this is very helpful to me, for me, but am I going to help the others as well? Ha, that's a tricky question. But this is a kind of, I would say soft because it's not so strong and you cannot attack other players, but it's real interaction and I love those. They're very nice. So uh, that's it, that's Formosa tea. It has almost no text, it's almost textless. There are things that have not shown, uh, like historical even cards that shapes the game during the six rounds we're going to play and other tiny stuff that are not essential to this presentation, but I just wanted to give you a taste of and a feel of what this, game's, what this game is about and how lovely it is. Thank you for watching.